Hey, what's up, guys? This is Grady Fear here. So, the first thing first, I've completed 2k subscribers today, so I'm very happy. But the thing is, I'm happy or not, the electrical project videos will not stop. So, with that being said, leave a like, subscribe to this channel, and let's jump into the video. Okay, for our inverter project, we need a transformer. So, the transformer is rated 230 volt to 606. So, it is 1 amps. And also, if you give 230 volts input, then output you can get 606 output. So, we are just using 606 in input to getting output 220 volts. And also, using a N channel MOSFET and with couple of heat sink because it will heat up because if we give too much load so if, if you don't know the what is the terminal it is gate drain and source so we can we will connect source with the wire and after that it will be connected to the negative terminal and in one terminal with a hundred ohms register so and then it will be connected to the gate of the transistor which is MOSFET transistor you obviously know and after that you have to connect a 606 ter six terminal of the transformer with the drain of the uh, it means the middle pin of the transistor and in the, in the middle pin of the transformer is going to the positive so the circuit is complete and then if you give the 12 volt input then you can see the voltage output will be 220 volts for better th better experiment i am attaching a heat sink for not getting too much heat okay so here is my battery pack it is all batteries are rated 4 volts 1.5 ampere hour so i have seized all the batteries so it means that 4 cross 3 it means 12 volts input so i am giving 12 volts input and then you can see the 220 volts will be generated from it so I'm just connecting with all the batteries. So I'm connecting white wire to white wire and red wire to yellow wire. So after connecting all the wire, the circuit is complete. Then you can see I'm checking my multimeter into the AC 750 volts. Then you can see in the multimeter the voltage rating is 2 to near lead 210 or 220. So after that I will connect my light bulbs it is the low light bulbs like 0.5 watt then it will blow up it will run so it means that it is given the voltage valuable voltage for running it and also it is the 5 watt led bulb which is also run from from this circuit uh, let me just connect it and you can see the light is light is going to on and on so guys that's pretty much enough for this video I hope you have a great day, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video, peace.